everyone is a star, Freddy. What are you afraid of? You can't get anywhere pretending to be someone you're not. You regret it. No one will play queen. I didn't know his fancy dress for it. You look like an angry lizard. You've got to make an impression, darling. So, tell me, what makes Queen any different from all of the other wannabe rock stars I meet? I'll tell you what it is, Mr. Reed. Yeah! We're four misfits who don't belong together. They're playing for other misfits. You're the outcasts right at the back of the room. We're pretty sure they don't belong either. We belong to them. So now the family name's not good enough for you. I've changed it legally. You're not looking back. We want to do something different. It's my money. I say, what goes? We can't simply repeat ourselves. No, we can do better. Freddie, could you tell us about the rumors concerning your sexuality? Queen, how long can that last? You don't make decisions for the band. Your life is going to be very difficult. My family. We believe in each other. That's everything. We're going to do great things. It's an experience. Love. Tragedy. Joy. It's something that people will feel belongs to them. Stamp to this beat. Come on. Now, I want you to clap on the third beat. What's going on? You know if you're on time. I want to give the audience a song that they can perform. So what can they do? Imagine thousands of people doing this in unison. Huh? Well, what's the lyric? We will, we will rock you. Rock you. Galileo! Galileo Picaro! How was that? Higher. Can you go a bit higher? If I go any higher, only dogs will hear me. Try. Galileo! Galileo Figaro! Higher. Jesus, how many more Galileos do you want? One more, one more. Galileo! One more. Galileo! 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 Go on, roll the track. Who even is Galileo? Galileo! Figaro! Are we done? That's it. He loves you. See what you could be. One of the first times I heard about this was the producer calling me on the phone and asking if I would come to Los Angeles. He was considering me for this role of Freddie Mercury. He came in, and I was like, whoa, this is Freddie. And he wasn't just acting, it was something that came natural to him. When you set out to play Freddie Mercury, you think, how am I ever going to fill the shoes? It's an immense responsibility, but one that I was very eager to take on. So this is Queen. And you must be Freddie Mercury. You've got a gift. 
you don't want to mimic Freddy. You want to be able to understand why he did what he did. I had some top choreographers come in and realized choreographer's not going to help me. I needed a movement coach. I spent a lot of time with Rami trying to work out little mannerism tricks. Every eye look, every turn, every flick of the microphone. Rami has just disappeared entirely. The way he moves and talks is so Freddy that it's completely magical. All right! Rami has worked so hard. Any given moment, he's always practicing Freddy's moves. But also, he's found a real humanity to this character that I don't think many people see. We had about 50 hours of costume fittings with heels that were four inch platforms, the tightest fitting satin pants, an entire lycra outfit. When you dress as Freddy does, it makes every day feel like it's going to be a good time. We're going to shock an audience. It's one of the best performances I've seen for a very, very long time. My name's John Warhurst. I'm the supervising sound and music editor on the film Bohemian Rhapsody. Let's go! What we're doing today is mixing in the vocals that we were sent from putmeinbohemian.com. We've been sent a huge amount of vocals via the website. We lay them all up and roughly line them in position. So now what? Uh, this is when the operatic section comes in. Mama, just kill the man. These are all the individual Put a vocals. Gun against his head. Put my trigger now he's dead. First, we thought there were one or two that might stand out, but actually, once you start layering up thousands and thousands and thousands of voices, then everybody sort of sinks into a general bed, which would sound like this. So this was step two of the process. And this is all the bouncers mixed together. And then what we would do is line them all up and add them into the actual track. sort of thank people enough for submitting their voices to be added into the movie. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I enjoyed the show. I also I write songs. Our uh, lead singer just quit. But then you'll need someone new. I love the way you move on stage. The whole room belongs to you. Don't you see what you could be? No one will play us on the radio. We need to get experimental. Do it again. One more. How many more Galileos do you want? Roger, there's only room in this band for one hysterical queen. Mark these words. No one will play a queen. Fortune favours the bold. Freddy, concerning your private life. What more do you need to know? I make music. I want to give the audience a song that they can perform. What's the lyric?
ready, Freddie? Let's do it. You need to slow down, Fred. I just need a bit of time. What if I don't have time? We're all legends. Kind of a bummer when Queen's your first concert because it's kind of only downhill from there. 1982, I was 10 years old. I'll never forget it. I just saw my life flash before me at that concert. Sing it! We will, we will Freddie Mercury is one of the most free people ever to watch perform. They came out and they just plowed their way through massive songs. And the way they mashed them together, you know, you just left like exhausted. And they intertwined crowd participation into their music. They also were a people's band. They felt like anyone could go and see them. I think my favorite Queen song is probably Somebody to Love, because it's beautiful. I work, they watch hard every day of my life. You could tell that Freddie Mercury, you know, he left it out there on the stage every night, and that's what you should do when you're a rock star. I take home my holiday, oh. and I just think of how he was just so out there, and that's why people loved him. Queen's music came into my life and everything changed. Just the way they approach the music. You got to put Queen up there because they just kind of transcended an idea of just one thing. You got everything. You got style, you got fashion, you got soul, and then beyond that you had the story. reminds me that genres and stereotypes don't really matter. You should pull together all of your influences to be your unique self. They were very experimental. They pushed the band's music into different genres and reinvented themselves every time. Bohemian Rhapsody is my favorite Queen song. Bohemian Rhapsody. Who doesn't have a memory attached to Bohemian Rhapsody? They really just broke barriers with the songwriting, I think, inspired a lot of people to not just be in a box, you know, go explore your creativity. They were the one of the most innovative bands for their time, you know, way out front. It's like, what? What are you talking about? But I love it. Do it again. One more. Pioneers, Music, visuals, wardrobe, stage presence, harmonies, I mean, like the whole thing. Out. I think Queen could be cited as a major influence for anybody. All their records are timeless records because every single person knows them. It's kind of impossible to keep track on who hasn't been influenced by Queen at, at one point in their life. The band had so much energy and power and great songs. Thank you for the music, your absolutely insane talents. You're forever an inspiration to me and countless other people. We're carrying the Queen flag everywhere we go, and they're always a part of us. And that's just poetic, I think. My name's John Warhurst. I'm the supervising sound and music editor on the film Bohemian Rhapsody. Let's go! What we're doing today is mixing in the vocals that we were sent from putmeinbohemian.com. We've been sent a huge amount of vocals via the website. We lay them all up and roughly line them in position. So now what? And this is when the operatic section comes in. Mama, just killed a man. These are all the individual Put a vocals. Gun against his head. Put my trigger, now he's dead. First, we thought there were one or two that might stand out, but actually, once you start layering up thousands and thousands and thousands of voices, then everybody sort of sinks into a general bed, which would sound like this. So this was step two of the process.
and this is all the bouncers mixed together. And then what we would do is line them all up and add them into the actual track. sort of thank people enough for submitting their voices to be added into the movie. I think it's absolutely brilliant.